Welcome to the channel. This is the best AI voiceover program. All right, guys. So you want the best voiceovers? You probably guessed it. I use these for my YouTube videos. So we are diving into Eleven Labs. Now, why is this so powerful? Because YouTube wants to hear authentic voiceovers. Or if you're not using it for YouTube, you might have another purpose. You might use it for you know your video sales letter. You might use it for your funnel. You might just use it for your videos in general, but you want a good sounding voiceover. You don't want something that sounds robotic. So what are some use cases? You can use it for instant speech. You could do audiobooks. Maybe you're working on Amazon and you want to do an audiobook. You could do AI agents, podcasts. Yes, they're even AI podcasts now. Sound effects, stub videos if you don't want to have your voice. Or you can actually clone your voice, and I'm going to show you how that works. So we have a voice library here, basically has all the different types of voices, you know, racially, I even have one of my own and I'll show you my uh, YouTube videos that I use it in, but you can hear Rachel. You gotta be careful if you don't know where you're going because you might not get there. Oh, okay, Rachel. I believe that we are fundamentally the same and have the same basic potential. I believe that too, Drew. All right, but what do I sound like? The stupid girl thinks most of the language. The stupid girl thinks most of the language. Okay. So, you hear me, I'm not as loud. So we have text to speech here. Now we can see, I put some text to speech here. We can see that you have the model, have the speed, I can adjust the speed, stability, similarity, all of that type of stuff. And then you can even add sound effects here if you so choose. You can sound, have sound effects, you know, describe a sound like a whiz. You can come up with these different ones, boom. So that's kind of cool that you can even do you know, different sound effects as well. Now, you know, if you're making a movie or you're using different things, I think that's really cool. How does the text to speech then work? So first you want to put a script in here and then generate speech. And then you can use yourself. Stone gone, the eye should have lost its significance, except it didn't. Instead, it evolved into something even more mysterious. And let's be honest, way creepier. After dabbling in the forbidden arts, Strange developed a third eye. Not metaphorically, literally. Right there, smack in the middle of his... So it will go ahead and regenerate speech and you can adjust this right here. You can adjust the voices as we saw on the left hand side. And then you can go ahead and select one of these and then just use it, which I think is really cool. And then you adjust this and then you go ahead and just download it. It does take a second to regenerate speech, then we can simply go ahead and download, and you can see the download has started. So what does this actually sound like? Well, we can go to YouTube and find out. And I actually have a channel where I use this. This is one of the most popular use cases. It's not the only use case, but I think it's one of the most popular use cases. So I can come here, we can see that I have different videos right here. So just taking a look at Iron Man for one second. So we have that, and we can see that I did all that with using 11 Labs. So very, very simple to use, very easy. You can use your own voice, or you can use multiple voices, get some video footage for their videos, and then you're off to the races. You can create YouTube videos. You can create audiobooks if you so choose. You can really use it for any use case. Let me know what you'd use it for in the comment section below. And if you enjoyed this video, smash that like button, hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell to know when I post more videos. Questions or comments, let me know down below. Thank you guys for watching. Catch you in the next one.